Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls, Repair to Die Edition. In the last episode, we cleared the depths, more or less. We are done with that awful, awful place. And now we will move forth to our next boss. And then into Blight Town, which is pure darkness and sadness and evil and altogether bullshit. We're going to drop down here. Why did I kick that box? Because it was in my way. Don't question my logic. All right, we're gonna make our way down here. With this really loud waterfall. Ugh. Go over here, I'm gonna kill this slime because it's ugly. I'm just a jerk like that, I guess. I'm not very tolerant of ugly people. Go away, go away. Boop. Bingo. Nothing to drop because it's a greedy bastard. Hello, rats. Come here. I just don't want, I don't want these enemies like sneaking up behind me while I'm trying to talk over here. Um, just a note, this next boss, I find it very easy. I don't think I've ever died on this boss. But there are certain like builds that don't do very well and if you mess up, it does hurt. But I don't know, I've never had a problem with it. So my advice not be might might be not so good. Now first we're gonna talk to Domino. Hi, shall I? And good day to you. I'm Domino of Zena. I'm just a, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. He's so friendly, isn't he? Alright, now the thing about this guy is he sells very, 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 very cool armor. And by really cool armor, I mean when you kill a boss come back here and chances are he'll have the boss's armor which is very cool we haven't fought any humanoid bosses really besides the Capra demon and Taurus demon but they didn't even have clothes uh, the first example will be the iron uh, the iron golem which we will fight not one boss from now but two bosses from now now I'm gonna grab some arrows because I think I'm quite low yes I am I'm not gonna buy 286 of them Nah. Yeah, I am. I don't ever want to come back here. Oh, shoot. There we go. Perfect. Now I never have to get arrows again. Pretty much. All right. Also, I feel like I can die without any problem. Golden Pine Resin, always good to have because it does a lot of damage. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually. So I am willing to share some tips. If you see kindling in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repair the reassembling skeletons. That's actually good advice. The catacombs are an area past that graveyard. In the beginning. Oh, I love Domino. Anyway, once we clear this area and you go back to Firelink, uh, he should be under the bridge where we jumped. You remember that, right? We jumped onto the bridge. It was close and we almost died. I'm going to make sure there's no items I'm going to miss up here. Definitely not, because... <laughs> Perfect. Flawless. Alright. Now, I also messed with my ports a little bit on my, uh, on my router, so hopefully we'll see a little human interaction. I mean, I, we really haven't, which is kind of... Honestly, it's a little disappointing. I want to fight some people. I'm bad at that, so it'll be great for rage. Ah, lovely view. Lovely. I heard a monster. We're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> I did. I heard something. It was like, Burr. and I was like, ah. Anyway, head down here. Continue to check the sides, out of curiosity's sake. I feel like I missed something. Right here is Solaire. If you want him to help you with the fight, he is welcome to, along with Lautric. Surprisingly enough, the creepy bastard is still helpful. You can summon them both, and it makes for a pretty epic fight. I'm going to do it solo, but it's if you haven't summoned before, I recommend doing it just for fun, because it's cool. I love summoning. All right. Meet one of the poster childs for this game, ladies and gentlemen.
one of the everlasting dragons in the flesh slash in the stone because they were partially made of stone. Along with an amazing soundtrack, I think this guy's track is fantastic. I'm going to give him a quick whack in the face and then run around him because he's going to start charging now. Now, what do we know about the gaping dragon? Well, he's a dragon. He's one of the original, you know, the big baddies. I'm going to try and cut his tail off, which you can. He's about to jump, which will scare me. Okay. He's one of the everlasting dragons, and he liked to eat. He liked to eat so much. Dragons are kind of this magical thing, right? They do some weird stuff. This guy liked to eat so much that it actually warped his body and all of his inner inner internal all his internal organs were replaced with a mouth he is now one giant mouth oh that was a little close oh i got tagged ouch he's gonna start doing a charge oh no he's not i think he realized he couldn't charge into a wall i'm gonna try and get some distance on him so he charges because that seems to be that's the the technique i always had good luck with there's the drop that was the set of warrior gear, actually. If you start as a warrior, that's the, the gear you will start with. We're gonna let this guy run forward. And then beat the crap out of him again. Oh, there it is! The Dragon King Great Axe. That weapon is absurdly heavy. To the point where it's just... It's like you literally need 50 strength to wield it in one hand. Which means about 36 to wield it in two. Somewhere around 36. 34, actually, will do the trick. I'm gonna whack his butt a little bit because I'm just a pervert. He's about to jump and completely own me if I don't move. Uh, let's see, I'm just not used to getting hit by this guy. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't really get hurt by this guy. And I know he's he is supposed to be an easy boss. I'm not saying that, oh, so many people complain he's hard. Some people do. And I find that weird. Come over here and poke his buttocks a little bit. I actually wish I had put on some sort of resin or something. Because if you see, he has, like, an ass load of health. He can do this all day. And if you summon people, he will have more health, which is why... I'm not, one reason I'm not summoning. The other reason is because I just don't want to summon on this fight. Look at him. Listen to that music. Oh, he's got such a good track. He uses a 4-4 time signature while in 3-4. Oh. Well, not that, but he uses like this weird triplet. It's it's cool. Just If you know music, it's cool. Ah! See, I feel like his tells are really obvious, and as long as you keep your distance he really can't hurt you. Come on. But look at him. Look how badass he is. Look how terrifying he is. He just, like, bends backwards and just comes at you. His head is really tiny. That is one easy thing to make fun of. Oh, crap. Oh, you're trying to catch me off guard, huh? Huh? You don't even have a tail. How can you hit me with your tail? Huh? Come on. Come on. It's a bad idea to fight him like that, as far as I'm concerned. Boink. That. I love how it did blah, 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 blah. He's like one of those little things on the end of doors. Like, you hit him and they go, they spring, and your cat does it in the middle of the night and wakes you up, and it makes you angry, but at the same time, it's adorable. You know what I mean. Stab. Stab. Oh, boy. Missed me. Look at that. Look how angry he is. Look how freaking cool he looks. Come on, this boss fight's dragging on a little bit. I'm running out of stuff to say. Boink. I think he might do more damage when you hit him in the head, but his head's never really exposed for long, so I just, I go the safe route and just poke him in the buttocks. Yeah, you definitely do more damage to the head. My stabs are only doing, my R2 stabs are doing less than my R1 stabs are doing to his face. So that's pretty much confirmation. Come on. Come on. Whoa, what is he doing? Whoa! I have never seen that. I have literally never seen that move. 
damn it, Dark Souls. I love you. That is one of the huge reasons I love this game. I have literally never seen him throw up. That was pretty nasty, actually, but the radius on it was insane. If I hadn't been far back, I would probably be dead. I'm just going to kill him right now. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. What a beast, huh? All right. Well, that was that was cool in a really gross kind of way. I've never seen that move. Excellent. I love that. All right. We're going to homeward bone. Whew. Nice easy fight, but a little long. All right. I gave myself two points of endurance and two points of vitality, actually. Or just one point of endurance and two points of vitality. I feel like I could use a little bit, you know. Just in case. A little bit of health never hurt anyone. And I've literally never upgraded Vitality, so might as well. Might as well do something new while I'm on the LP. Alright, so we're going to head back down here now that we have gained the key to the depths. Or not the depths, key to Blighttown. We did the key to the depths a while ago. Alright, we're going to ignore all these fools. Go right through here. Break everything, just in case. You never know. Could always be stuff. Get his wagon wheels out of the way. Oh, just a oh, quick geez. note. He uh he sells his armor. So if you want his ridiculously funny looking armor, be my guest. It's awesome. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. Sorry, buddy. We'll sell some. He's so friendly, isn't he? All right, let's bust this open. <sighs> Blight Town. I didn't miss you. You just can tell as soon as you walk in, the colors change and everything now sucks. <laughs> and we will descend into hell. You're going to want that blooming purple moss here. So hopefully you either got some in the forest or bought some from the undead female merchant. Rat. Not looking forward to this. <laughs> All right, down here. We will meet our first enemy of Blight Town, the Barbarian! This one has a club! Some of them have boulders. Yes, a boulder for a weapon. Don't don't worry, it's actually a thing. They also poison you when they hit you, so don't get hit a lot in quick succession. See? They are incredibly easy to backstab. Well, they can be. You don't suck, like me. I'm not a backstabbing kind of guy. Hey, get off! Oh, he doesn't he doesn't really give a shit about kicks. Okay. And my controller died. Oh god. Oh god, my controller died. Oh god, my controller. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. He's dead. Uh <laughs> I'm going to go uh I'm gonna go get a battery. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. That took a little longer than I thought it would because I walked downstairs to get batteries and found that my cat had puked everywhere. Poor thing. All right. Let's make it back through Blight Town. Try stabbing in back. We're now officially there, gents. Come here. I'm gonna pull one at a time. There are two of them over there, obviously. I wanna fight one at a time. They do have a pretty heavy range on their attacks, so be, be wary of that. But, damn, this weapon combos well. Look at that. Oh. Give me more dung pies. Yes, it's poop. Everybody make a poop joke. Oh shoot, I think I pissed off the enemies down there. Alright, let's clear this barbarian quick. Come here. Come on, dude. Brosif. Brosif, dude. Dude, bro. Ow. That's what I get for dicking around with miracles. Hey. He doesn't give a shit. Word to the wise. Garbage man. Ah, balls! Alright, we have returned. Give me a rematch. I demand a rematch. I just feel like that move right there has so much more reach than it looks like it should. All of his moves do, honestly. You got hacks. Oh, it's probably for the best that I'm not human down here. I don't really want to get invaded while I'm trying to get to the bonfire. Maybe after I get to the bonfire, I can get invaded. That's fine with me. Let's go over here. 
Come on, you ugly bastards. These are the most common enemy you'll be facing down here. They are ugly, ugly bastards, aren't they? And they will also try and jump on your head. If you see them reach both their arms out like that, they're gonna try and jump on your head. They do also carry quite an assortment of weapons. For example, that one up ahead is carrying... Oh, shit! I'm getting shot at! I'm getting shot at! I totally forgot about them! Okay, so, the biggest threat in Blight Town to most people is what was just hitting me. If you can see, my poison meter was going way up, but that's not poison, actually. It's toxin, which is significantly worse. It's being shot by that guy right there. You can see him. And those darts, if they hit you, will poison you, and it's the worst. Unfortunately, it's very hard to counter snipe. Mostly because shit gets in the way like that. But you can. However, he doesn't take a lot. Oh, headshot! Headshot! Oh, uh, shit. I'm gonna get poisoned. Uh, uh. Okay. Take cover. Rinse and repeat. If you don't want to get toxic, if you do get toxic, you are going to have to use one of these. It's the only thing that gets rid of toxin besides a bonfire. This will get rid of poison, but toxin is different. Being toxic is awful, and it kills you way faster than poison does. Okay. He is lining up the shot. I'm just gonna fire until he dies. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, crap. Gonna shoot me through the gap. Just stay right here. And they do have a bit of a homing property, his darts. As do pretty much every every projectile fired by NPCs seems to have a homing property to it. Oh, I hate this guy. I also hear other enemies getting kind of pissy. They're probably getting impatient. I'm getting impatient too. Would you just die? You horrible, horrible thing. There's quite a few of these guys. There's a certain section where I feel like there's three of them all bearing down on you at the same time. Ah, oh, get out of my life. And they do drop those, which is nice and helpful. Jesus, though. One dart brings you almost all the way to toxic, and then the second dart will, will absolutely poison you. Unless you're wearing, like, poison resistance sets. Like, the spider shield is really good at poison resistance. And there's also a set of gear that we'll be finding very soon that is quite resistant to poison. Now, last time I checked, there was a little demon bastard up here. Oh, I'm gonna get snuck up on, like, from all directions. That is... The, the main threats here are getting, uh, flanked. Like that. Ha! Flanked right in the pee, -pee. And, uh, falling off. Those are the big threats of Blight Town. I'm gonna try and piss this guy off so I don't have to... Oh, I can't aim that far down. Okay. Looks like I'm going down. Ugh. Oh, look at this blow dart guy. Look how cool he is. Not stupid. Uh... Hi. How's it going? I'm Ben. I'm stabbing to death. Don't take it personal. Oh, jeez. That's the... There, he's gonna jump. And if he grabs you, he's just gonna, like, molest you. And it's gonna do a pretty substantial amount of damage. Get on the ground. Let me try and knock him off. Force seems like a pretty useful thing here. Now that I think about it. Hey! Hey! Boop! Ha! <laughs> One more! One more! Boop! Bye-bye! Dick. Get out of here. Alright, Force. Pretty useful in Blight Town. Of course, not against the barbarians, as we learned. They're rather resilient to being knocked to and fro. All right, well, we got a soul of a proud knight. Pretty cool. Pretty large amount of stored souls right there. We're getting into the point where we just get a huge amount of them from that. All right, let's see. Now, there are a bunch of ways we can go. Hello? More of you Cretans. God, they're everywhere. Oh, back up. Don't want to get molested. No molestation. That is my no-no zone. Stop, don't touch me there. This is my private square. M-O-L-E-S-Station. Get your teeth out of me. Yep. All right. Just going to go with that. 
Now, if you go down this path, you'll see absolutely nothing at no extra charge. All right, um, right here, we're going to be coming back to this area shortly. There's a thing down there. You can make this jump. Don't make it now. <laughs> Making it now is what we call in the industry a mistake. And this bridge right here, I'll show you for it wobbles. As soon as it starts wobbling, stop moving. For your own safety, don't move while it wobbles. Because, God, these things are really finicky. It's a little scary, actually. It's really scary. Being on those things sucks. All right. Now, my goal right now is to get to the bonfire. And that's what I'm going to do. Hey, how's it going? You going to hit me with a people? Look at that. Look at that. He's got a little people weapon. Not sure how he hurt me right there. Look at it. It's so gross. It looks like the freaking... Looks like the zombies from Amnesia. He's using a he's using a bro for all you PewDiePie people. He's using a bro to beat you down. That's cold. These guys are evil. All right, we're gonna still be very careful, be very very quiet while we hunt wabbits. Hmm. Boy, we're almost there. Bonfire is literally on that bridge. We're almost there. We just got to avoid being murdered. All right. When that happens, an enemy killed himself. Pretty simple. Hey. You t what? You don't belong in there. I'm just gonna leave you there. How about that? You just have fun in your little vase. It looks oddly adorable in there, actually. All right. Let's grab this. Ah. Beautiful bonfire. Beautiful, beautiful bonfire. Okay, get one more point in endurance. So we have a nice 25, which is just a nice number. I'm trying to get it to 30 before I really go into anything else, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I don't really know much about builds in this game at all, but whatever. I'm making it up as I go. And I'm being human because I like being human. I like that chance of being invaded, even if my ports totally don't work. Now, I would end this episode off, but I'd like to clear the area around this bonfire first, and so I shall. Anybody want to come up? Hey! Come on! Come on! Let me show you something. Come on! Alright, you beat on that base, guys. Good job. Alright, ready? And we slide! Ow, hey, that didn't work, didn't work, didn't work! Didn't work, supposed to knock him off. Slide! Slide! Damn it! Ah! Hey! That is Sparta! Damn it. Get off my horse! And by horse I mean house. And by house I mean not my house. Get off! I don't care. Regardless. Dive bomb! Dead! As in me, I'm about to die. Shit. Just die, just die, just die, just die, just die, just die, just die. Just die. <laughs> You got full stamina, you can just go on a rampage like that. Alright, let's grab a soul of the lost undead. Try and work our way around this hellhole. Very slowly but surely. Walk over here, grab some clump clumping, blooming purple moss clumps. Which are uber helpful, of course. The less toxin the better. I actually think I have much more I have much more blooming moss than there are toxin shooters now, which is we helpful though. Be wary of right. <laughs> I hate these things. Oh, they make me so nervous. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Okay. If you feel like standing still isn't gonna work, I feel like you have to trust it, but. That might be a little difficult in a game where everything is trying to kill you, even the bridges. So I understand if you can't. Break some pots. Of oh, shit! Hello, doggy! Hmm. I know there's another one down here. Come on, you hound of Balthazar! No, seriously, where, I know there's another one down here. You can't fool me! 
Now note that this is another area that I've never really been keen on exploring thoroughly, so bear with me while I don't know where I'm going and don't know what I'm getting. I know I'm going somewhere, obviously, but I don't know what the item is at the end. Grab this and get some humanity. Not too shabby. I can always use some more humanity since I'm always dying and needing more humanity. Now, if you're playing this on console, I feel sorry for you right now. Because Blight Town on console is awful. <laughs> it is really laggy. The frame rate drops horribly around this section. I can't take this. I know how you feel. The frame rate just kind of tanks to the point where it's 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 very hard to get through Blight Town. All right, now that we're back to the bonfire, there's just a couple more things I want to get. One of them being that sword that you have to jump for. Yes, it is a sword, and yes, it is one of the coolest swords. In my opinion, it's one it's one of the coolest classes of sword. I don't know if it's the coolest sword in said class, but it's pretty cool. Let's just go with that. I don't want anything following me. I'll just suck right now. Oh, something killed itself, so that doesn't suck. Two things! Three things killed themselves! Sometimes Blight Town can be hilarious. Oh shit, okay. No, no. Bad jumpy. Now, I went to two hands because I want to kill these guys quickly. And he's just basically dooming himself by just sitting there and... Oh, jeez! All of a sudden, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Literally, everything here is made of wood. They're all coming out of the woodwork. No! Stop! Don't even! Yeah, these guys really aren't that hard. These enemies are pretty, pretty, pretty shit. <laughs> to be, to be blunt. We're gonna go up here. And before I make the leap, I think I'm gonna try this way. We're gonna go around here. We wanna land on that. If you, you might, you can miss, I believe. Oh no, this isn't the one you can miss. Anyway, the shadow set. You will look like a ninja. No ifs, and ors, or buts about it. Not even any ors. You will look like a ninja in that set. And you will feel like a ninja in that set. And you will get attacked from somewhere you can't quite locate in this set. That's not actually true. That last part I made up. I have to get flanked, but I really don't care right now. I'm just trying to make my way back to the bonfire. Ah! Here we are. He's not following me. Oh shit, he is following. God, these guys are so persistent! Get off! Damn! <laughs> Force. That's great. Alright. There might be a couple more items up here, but I'm not really... I'm not really too keen on carrying. Oh, there's one. Hello. Another soul of a proud knight. These things are everywhere. Which is great, because they're huge. Alright, now we're gonna make a leap, and I'm gonna book it back to the bonfire. If I can. Uh, screw it! For Narnia! Run! Run! Alright, safety. Now, that was our last safety. We're gonna go get that freaking sword. I'll meet you up at the first wobbly bridge thing. I'm being molested! Stop it with the molestation! I'm gonna file a lawsuit! Alright, we're back at the jump point. Now this one takes jumping, precision, expert timing, and altogether bullshit luck, in my opinion. It certainly can, anyway. Uh, try and jump off the end of the peg and you'll be just fine. And if you miss it on the first time, it's okay, because you touch the bonfire first. Right? Anyway, it drops our first katana, the Ayato, which I don't believe I have enough dexterity for or something. Oh no, I'm actually not strong enough to wield it, which is... Huh, I need more strength. I think that's the moral of the story here. Which I plan on doing. Don't worry. I'm doing I'm doing a very balanced stat build all around. Which can totally screw you up, but hey. Who cares? It's a tutorial thing. Don't matter none. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode off. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, they're gone. Thank you for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I will see you next time. 
Adam. Ja.